For this video, we're going to find out how to calculate the projection of a vector um, onto a line. Uh, in this case, the line is basically another vector, um, my L. It's going to be the span of this one vector V, uh, which I wrote as 3, 2. Um, so I'm going to draw that. We're working in R2 here, because R2 is easy to visualize. It's just the coordinate graph. Uh, but V is 3, 2, so I go across 1, 2, 3, and up 2. So that's the vector V, and L is the span of that, so any, uh, any multiple. So that's really a complete line going all the way out that way and all the way backwards this way. Uh, and we have the vector x, 1, 3. So that's 1, 1, 2, 3. And we want to find the projection uh, onto line L of x. So that's how we would read this, projection of x onto L. Um, so we, we looked at uh, matrices that can do projections before, but that was only for the x and the y axis. We want to figure out how to do this to a vector specifically. Uh, and what is that going to look like? It's if, as if um, this is v and this is x. That's as it is. It's as if x is casting its own shadow on V. So this goes down. This makes a right angle, uh, and that's very important. Um, so that becomes this vector. And that's what we're looking for. This is going to be the projection onto L of X. OK, so right away, we can see that this vector right here is going to be some multiple of V, right? Because it's the same direction as V is just a little bit shorter. Um, so what we're looking for uh, is just some some multiple of V, so C times V. Okay, so if I look at this diagram, uh, I've got my vector x here. I've got a line going that way and a line going this way. And we know from how vectors work that this line plus this line is equal to this x vector. Therefore, this line right here is the same thing as x minus the projection onto L of x. And why is that important? This vector right here and this vector right here are at right angles. And what do we know about two vectors that are at a right angle? We know that their dot product is equal to 0. So um, that gives me a place to start. I know that projection of L x dotted with that one right there, x minus the projection onto L of x is equal to 0. OK, so next. Um, Excuse me. We know that um, this projection uh, is going to be some multiple of um, of v, so we substitute. We can substitute this relation in. Um, so let me just check my notes to make sure I'm on the right track. All right. Um, yeah, the only, the only uh, addition I'm going to make to that is that um, this line here, this vector, anything along this, it doesn't have to be this little piece right here, which I was calling CV. So just this entire vector dotted with this product is going to be 0. Um, so I don't even need this uh, C right here. That's just extraneous. Um, so now if I distribute this V, I can have uh, the dot product of V and X minus uh, C times the dot product of V with itself is equal to 0. All right, you still with me? Um, we've got this line right here. We're taking the dot product with this. And we have values for what V is. And we have this relation right here. So we're going to try to find this projection. Um, and so we're going to start by solving for C.
right? I just added that to the other side. Now I can divide and get C. I'm being very inconsistent with my little hats. Notation isn't my strongest suit. Cool. Um, this constant C, uh, which is how much we want to shorten this vector V by, that's equal to V dot X over V dot V. So um, we basically just derived our formula for projection. Um, we just need to substitute that C into there. So the projection onto L of X is equal to V dot X over V dot V. times our vector v. So that's a lot of v's. Uh, if I want v dot v is the same as the magnitude squared, um, but I can just keep that the way it is because it doesn't really matter computationally. It'll just save you one v. Um, cool. So let's go ahead and calculate our example and see what that looks like. Uh, we start by the dot product of v and x. So the dot product of 3, 2, and 1, 3. So our answer will be um, over v squared. And this is all a constant. So 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 times 3 is 6, that's 9. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 times 2 is 4, 9 plus 4 is 13. So our projection onto L of x is 9 thirteenths uh, times the vector 3, 2. Um, and just to multiply that out, that becomes uh, 27 over 13 and 18 over 13. So those are fractions, those are hard to compute, but that's uh, roughly the same as this vector right here. That'll be 27 thirteenths out and 18 thirteenths up. Uh, and if you don't believe me, you can uh, draw a more accurate graph, get those in decimals or whatever it, you need to be convinced. But this is how to calculate the projection of a vector onto a line. Um, so this formula right here is what you need to take away from this lesson. It's very important and we'll be referencing it several times uh, in the future. Um, that's how to get a vector, its shadow onto a line, uh, very important. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and any of the other math-related videos on our channel. If you're not subscribed to our channel, click this link right here. For more help with linear algebra, check out Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra by Robert McCohen or Elementary Linear Algebra by Bruce Cooperstein. Both are available at an affordable price in digital formats on our website. Just click this link right here.